Alors, il y a un pic, man, un pic, man. But you see, if he said that, I don't go. But now I go. But he said, I remember coming down. Yes. When I was pregnant with my prophecy baby that he prophesied unto me. My belly was so huge. And um, it was a mother bed table. And all of my little children, them work on me that night. Dora, um, Pastor God, all of them came around me. And um, people were saying, how are you going to pass immigration in that day? <laughs> I said, if the man of God tells me to go, I'm going. Yeah. If he said, but do not go, I'm going to go. said, daughter, I see a way clear. You've got to make a move right now. Yeah. And I see everything prepared for you and that child. And I'm telling you, say so, say it done. Yeah. Worship the Lord. Yeah. Worship the Lord. coming to church. I'm a loving bishop. <laughs> my loving bishop looks so past me and I say, I'm not with full white. I'm hurrying going home to get ready to go to water. Out of nowhere, sir, the rain just come out wet from my head to my toe. <laughs> and I went home, but I went home rejoicing. When I look and Facebook and some lovely bishop of worship, you know what? Then that's the seminary church. <laughs> worship the Lord. Same yes, time my brother called me, Bridget, and he said, Sister, what happened? I said, I went to church and I went from me to me too. But can I watch it on Facebook? Thank God for life. And he's laughing for me and he said, Sis, check your phone. Mm. When I check my phone, Bridget, I think it buys me and my baby already. So you just have to play tonight. I feel it. You want to cook everything. And if you're not nobody in America, I feel it. There's a prophet in the house. And I'm sure you can have it. Come on, man. Stand together, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. Wow. So we're gonna have the final um testimony, Reverend Mother Williams. Pastor William Tallegly. You know, before um she even starts he come up with me. I wanna say to someone tonight, after this this congregation, that don't don't look your ministry. If you are a revival, you are a Methodist, a Pentecostal, name it. Don't, don't grade your ministry. Now, I'm speaking on, the, on behalf of the revival church. The revival churches. Don't, don't grade your church. I have a, I don't want to say a friend, I'm an international preacher where you all know. And some of the time I think that he being a little prejudiced to where he is now. He don't want to talk about his room. But I was listening to one of his sermon last week and it happened that God allowed to go into his room. And he said, why am I like this and know the Bible like that? Is because my grandfather Is a revivalist and that man know the Bible in and out. Yes. And anybody, yes. this is the good part now. Anybody in the community or in the church, if they are going foreign, if they are going marry, they have to get his permission. Yes. When he said, No move, yes. no move. I ain't guess what happened. It brought me back to this little man right here. Anytime you have a man, a move. And he said, no move, no move. So I, I, I just want to say that tonight to you know, encourage someone in that you are at the right place at the right time. Put your hands together for my pastor here now. Let me a praise God. Let me a praise the Lord, man. And all the officers and members. You know, the apostle being prophesying to me from January, coming on about traveling. Madabev, run one, run one. 
but you can't see. Brethren, it was Saturday morning I came from St. Elizabeth, about 3 o'clock. Daybreak Sunday morning, and I hear my phone ring, and I went and I took it up. When I took it up, the person said, Mother Bev, good morning, ma'am. I said, good morning. He said, don't worry yourself. You're not even know who I talk to you. He said, well, no, I don't know. He said, well, I've been following you for the past 15 years now. Going on and I try my best to hook you up and get your number and to. When I said, here am I. He said, well, I just want to tell you that you are my motivator. I said, who am I speaking to? He said, don't worry yourself, man. Just keep on doing the work that you're doing. Yeah. Right now, Miss Long and I'm a coach, and Miss Talk, the one who at church, and it's like, we can't move. What make you have your ones and the people in church? What make you can't be in yourself? He said, what am I doing? He said, my God, I, I came to Jamaica, and I met you once, and it was like, I came and I searched everywhere before you came in. I was like, really come and I can't see Mother Ben. He said he went to a special person and he said, Who is Mother Ben? Mm -hmm. I tell him because me here and me can't see her. He said, Me, me can't walk in a Mother Ben's shoes. She was like, What? He said, Yes. And he said, Mother Ben, don't worry yourself. I am coming back to Jamaica by the end of the year. And I just want to say, to your apostle, I'm coming for to your apostle to let him know that he need to release you to England no, no, no. because I want you, whether by the book or the book, in England. I said, well, I am not my own. When you come to Jamaica, you have to come to my apostle. And without my apostle consent, Mother Bev won't be going anywhere. She said, he take he said, no, Mama. When the apostle said, I will go. And brethren, you know the funny thing about it? Me not even know the person. And she said to me, me know you are going to church you know, today or Sunday. You're not going to miss church. Me said, no, me can't miss church because me have one bishop with he head no good, he foot no good, he hand no good, he eye no good. So me know me happy go to church. He said, all right, mama, text me your name and your address and your, your full number. I said, text me name. He said, me text me your name. He said, all right, Sister Dora, come at your attention. Sister Dora sent me name, and today, I went to the Western Union Bridge. I received, I mean, I know where that come from. But tell her the good thing about it. Just to be clear, clear. And he said, when she come, she will make sure, say, she will left the plane for her, give the apostle. So that's it for me, say, the apostle can't tell me no. But when the plane for her, yes, yes, I know. If the apostle never say, come by the bed, and I'm able to sit down right here, so, hallelujah, because he is the man with the plan. Brethren, when you prophesy, I'm going to look wrong. Me remember coming down, me remember me living somewhere for about 15 years. And when me tell you, me are telling the truth, oh, they did not let me left, right, and center. I'm in mean, love school yet. I remember when Sister Dora a baby, little, little baby in her hand. He said, Mother Ben, you have to go left the school gate, you know. Janeiro was like his grandson. He said, left the school gate, Mr. Father. Mother Ben, left the school gate. And you know when he did one day? He come out of my house, gate in and cheap. And he went to the school over. And me now with him, my bride said, bread tree, you know, forget it. Go, I'm making one nice bag of plum, because I love him plum and everything. And the man let me so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm preaching Jesus Christ and the Bible that I come at church in Tuesday night like that tonight. Man of them, let man in school get. Go home. Lord have mercy. Preaching, we have five yards. Everybody know man of them on the road. Up down, up down, not a dumb dog taxi. But may I tell you, preaching, when this little man has said you have to move, you're going to pile like two part trees. You're going to bat like yards. You have to come clean with you. I don't regret it. Mr. Janiero gonna left me. Miss Dora, I graduate next month. So gonna left me. So Simeon, God bless you now, God keep you now. And Mr. Apostle, 
Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Six and seven, six and nine, seven. Yes. Let me hear your word from the Lord. Yes. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me hear your praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some people believe that time we have a way to become a church. Praise the Lord. That not time we have a way to become a church. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come to seek soul by the kingdom of God. We come to deliver God's people. We come to receive a breakthrough for ourselves and our family. Come on, somebody, praise God in the corner. You eyes up, I see. Let us say, when I deliver the message, some of you will rejoice. The time of you said to me that if you're not going home, have a good intention. Can somebody praise the Lord. All the people that are going somewhere, jump up and praise that if you move. Know.
gave his all for you. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you have to choose who you will serve. Amen. But you can't have one foot in and one foot out. God invested you already. Amen. And he will be coming back. For everything that is so in your spirit, for every anointing that He has given unto you, He will be coming back for it. And if you're not given, why I'm putting on you? You're not here to part from me. You lazy and suffering servant. But if you invest what God has given unto you, you shall say you are grateful. Over few, but I make you ruler. Over many. You see? I'm calling you forth. In Zion. Let's see what we do. Hallelujah. He said, Can see what's with you? Can see what's with you? The cup of water, what do you want in your hand? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Am
course. Roll up that ego and you're coming. You're feeling your spirit. And the man of God is going to speak to you. And the man of God is going to speak to you. I'm going to speak to you. That you have so many things that you might have to say. And the man of God is going to speak to you. In the past, you have people that are going to talk to you. And the people you have been in that carry to feed them friend yeah. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't know, make you better. You know, put back by your fire. I am a truly man of time. Come on.